Hello, Pisces, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. And today I have a spiritual and intuitive message for you about your path and what's going to really help spur you on in a positive direction this week. So let's go ahead and get started. First card is energy from the universe and kind of the overarching theme of your reading. We have the nine of wands. I am getting the feeling of determination that there is a very tenacious willpower going on that you are not willing to budge or perhaps not needing to budge from your position at this time, that you just need to stand firm and hold on to things. There's also a feeling of, I'm getting kind of a heat, like a little bit of pressure going on like you're under what there's a phrase about this i can't remember i know under pressure is a phrase but feeling the heat maybe is a good way to put it that it things are really amping up they're really ramping up in a way where before it was maybe easier to do things but now you're feeling really challenged to be there and um it, it like this is a gritty card it takes lots of grit and determination to withhold and uphold this energy. So understand that that's kind of where you are or where you are wanting to go. There is no wishy-washiness in this card. It is very strong, very focused, very determined. Okay, let's get an energy card for you this week. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, there. this is a dreamier card. We've got a little bit of... Um, A little bit of softness in this card, kind of softening that other message. But the bigger message with this card is timing. Is it time to move forward? Is it time to hold still? Is it time? What is it time to do? And this is what we're questioning. It looks like you're wanting to either leave or just kind of let it go or perhaps even give up. And the universe is saying to you, no, you know, you need to hold on, hold out just a little bit longer. It's not quite time to go to the next stage or cut things off or kind of stop what you're doing at this point. Okay, let's keep going with your three card message. And as I'm drawing your cards, I would love to encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already to this channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. So glad you're here. And thanks so much for being a part of this evolution of the channel as we start to focus more and more on that internal soul guidance. I'm just so glad that you're willing and wanting to be a part of it. All right, interesting stuff going on. We've got the double five. We have five of pentacles. We've got the lady. We've got the five of cups. Now... There is really disparate energy going on here, Pisces. The lady is, <laughs> she's just the total opposite of these two other cards. So let's, let's see exactly what, where we're being told to focus. Okay, if we start with the lady, we are looking at your connection to abundance. We are connect, looking at your connection to growth and fertility and emotional flow emotional flow that is positive that creates something good <laughs> something where the the um, emotional energy is channeled into something positive and what i'm feeling is happening is that the emotions are going a little bit out of control right now where they could be watering the earth where they could be sustaining and nurturing the earth they're flooding it and so nothing is really allowed to gain purchase and that's why we've got these other cards coming out as it does. The five of pentacles on this side, five of cups on this side. These cards are both dealing with loss, but they're dealing with loss at this, at, um, from different places. And because they are overwhelming your emotions with that feeling of loss, we're unable to see the growth below the surface, the true connection to abundance, that true connection to love. 
So let's start with the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is earthly challenges, things not quite going as planned on the earth level, physical level, material level. You see what I'm saying? Just things not working out, feeling like things aren't working out. That's maybe a better way to put it. Feeling like, um, they kind of feeling like you can't go on. Like there's, there's nothing left for you to do because it's hopeless. It's that kind of feeling. On the other side, this is emotional bereavement where I know this card, this card just felt very emotional, but this card has to do more with your relationships with others, with feeling like there was a loss or a mischance with someone regrets of looking back to the past. So what's, what is also happening is I'm reminded again of here where you're being asked to just hang on. Things are really tough right now, Pisces. You're, you're reaching the end of your rope, both with this emotional looking back and this emotional not wanting to go forward because it's like, what is there anything to go forward for? But in the middle, we've got the Empress, we have the Lady. And Okay, is the Empress a person or is this an energy? Okay, it is an energy. You're not going to be able to perceive the fullness of what this Empress has for you, of what the universe really has in store for you if you're looking through these other lenses. Fives are also the number of change. They're also the number of transformation. And it's likely that these energies are wanting to be transformed so that they can be released. So I'm starting to understand the blend of all of these cards together. This one is saying, hold out because you're almost there. You're almost at the end. You're almost at your goal. This Empress, you're almost there with the fertility of everything that you want. Your seven is saying, oh, but things are so bad. I, I just want to cut them off or I'm, I'm tired of feeling this way or I'm tired of missing that person or I'm tired of regretting or looking back on my choices. So what's very important, we're right at the importance, Pisces. What's very important with this is that you cut the correct thing off. What you're holding out for is your abundance. What you're holding out for is that love and that feminine energy and the self-nurturing. What is not working for you is this, feeling like there's no reason to go on, feeling upset at the way things are turning out, regretting past choices. That's the energy that needs to be cut off. These two cards right here, cut them off <laughs> with the big sickle because those kinds of energies aren't going to help you move forward this week. Okay, so is that clear? We're not holding out for more heartache. We're not holding out for more loss. We're not holding out for more disappointment. We're holding out for more abundance. We're holding out for more flow, for more creativity, for some more feminine energy and growth. So this is really about knowing exactly what to cut off. Seven is a very discerning number. It's about separation. And so it's very important, Pisces, that you cut off the right thing. That just because you're feeling sad inside doesn't mean you cut off your left leg for no reason. That That's the kind of thing you have to be careful with this week, knowing exactly what to cut off. So it's mostly emotional thought energy that's going to get you into trouble. Okay. All right. There's, there's no relationships or people you need to cut out. This is all self self-directed stuff. So I hope that gives you uh, a bit of a base from which to work. So that will conclude our reading for this week, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'd like to let you know that I have openings this month for one-on-one -on -one readings, as well as guidance packages. These are focused guidance packages talking about shadow work, um, how to incorporate more positivity into your life, how to really understand your gifts and how to use them. And there's much more on my website, soulguidancewithadriana.com. 
everything has changed this week. <laughs> so I invite you to check those out and see if anything would be of use to you at this point on your journey. Have a great week, Pisces, and I'll see you next time.